Hi guys, uh, I'm putting on my TA hat now and uh, giving some uh, hints for this uh, homework assignment that I gave. And um, yeah, this is obviously not going to make any sense at all unless you've been following along in the uh, Komogoro complexity using Prolog series. So here goes. Okay, some early feedback from uh, the very brave people who are trying to do the uh, homework problem that I just assigned. In the case that I left out a very important uh, concept. Uh, I really hate these, actually I have a love-hate relationship with these 10-minute video links. Uh, your time is important, and so it's, it's really good to try to squeeze these things down into 10 minutes, but sometimes I just, I squeeze too hard, and I, I leave out important concepts. There's a very important concept that I uh, should have covered. Um, but before that, let, let's talk a little bit about uh, how to do this homework here. Um, uh, let's make a, a sample genealogy here, okay? So let's make the, uh, the first generation here, begat... And we'll make the patriarch of the family, uh, you know, great, grand, happy, and uh, he begat uh, grandpappy. All right, and uh, grandpappy begat uh, daddy, my father. Crazy Uncle Albert. Alright. And then, of course, uh, Daddy Beget Me. Right? Who's your daddy, right? Alright. So this is a, a, a sample, um, a sample, um, genealogy here, right? Okay. So l let me demonstrate some stuff here. Okay. So let me, uh, let me um, try to do a uncle uh, using only begats. Okay, so first of all, if I say begat um, father me, right, I get my daddy, right? So then going from my father, I can get to my grandfather, right? So, now, who's my uncle, right? My uncle would be the, the sons of the grandfather who aren't my father, right? But you don't know how to do that yet. The best you can do is this. We get um, grandfather, say uncle, right? Now, okay, so basically, I've gone from me to my father, then I've gone from my father to my grandfather. Then I've gone back down the tree from my grandfather to my uncle. But but uh, here's the problem, right? Let me hit the button. Uh, uncle equals daddy. So this is just this is just wrong, right? A very important concept of the uncle is the uncle is is somebody who really isn't isn't your daddy, right? So this one works. So there's like multiple solutions here. This one works, but the daddy one is wrong. Okay. So here's how you get rid of that. Okay, I left this one out. This is a very important concept. Okay, so you objectivists here uh, will will appreciate this one. A equals A, right? So the, the equal operator in Prolog basically it succeeds if both of these guys are equal, right? That's fine. But you don't need that. What you need is you need an operator which will succeed when both of them are not equal, right? And that's this one here. The slash equal. Okay, this one says yes. If both of those are not equal, it says no if both of those are equal, right? So A is equal to A, so this one fails. All right. Now using this, we can do the uh, we can do the uncle one, right? So we, we do the same thing. We go to the father, we go to the grandfather, we go down to the uncle, right? And then we also specify that the father has to be unequal to the uncle. Right? Now this works, okay? My father equals daddy, my grandfather equals grandpappy, my uncle equals crazy uncle Albert, and if I hit the uh, semicolon, no more answers, okay? So I left out this very important concept. Okay, now, now there's another thing which uh, has, is puzzling some people here. Let me, uh, let me uh, put some, uh, some uh, other kids in here.
All right, say I have a, a silly younger brother. And a uh, bully older brother. Who beats me up every once in a while, right? Okay, let's compile this. Now, it's uh, it's kind of disturbing, uh, but here, here's the score, right? Say we do uh, begat. We get me, we get my silly younger brother, we get my bully older brother. Now, here's the score, right? If, if I want to do, I'll, I'll just, uh, this is gi giving up the uh, the um, ghost here a little bit, but uh, I'll just do a daddy, okay, uh, sibling. Here's the problem, right? Um... Kid equals me, and sibling equals me. Well, you know, I've got to be different from my sibling, right? And I, I get all these uh, solutions that are here, right? What, what What's going on here? I, I'm getting way multiple solutions. Well, these multiple solutions, don't be bothered by these multiple solutions. These multiple solutions actually... Um, uh, okay, the first one, you got to get rid of this one, right? Okay, and, and uh, it's pretty easy to guess how to do that, given that I've just shown you this not equal to operator, right? But the rest of these ones that are here, uh, don't be bothered by them. Basically, here's the score, right? Think about all the different ways that you could prove that um, my silly younger brother is, uh, you know, my, my sibling. First of all, I could find his father and my father and prove that those two people are the same. Or I could find his mother and my mother and prove that those two are equal to the same. This kind of stuff, right? So, Prolog will give you one solution for each possible way that it can prove something. And often there's more ways of proving things than what you might uh, suspect, okay? So um, these two things are, are really what you need and which I would have really left out of the previous one to, to do this homework one, right? First of all, this very, you know, this all-important operator, A uh, unequal to B, right? And second of all, don't be scared of multiple solutions or if you get the same thing two different ways. Um, and, uh, you know, take the moral to heart. There's... There's often more than one way to prove something. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as uh, they say. All right. Good luck on the homeworks. I'm thinking about, uh, I, you have plenty of time to do it. I'm thinking about uh, uh, putting out the solutions uh, sometime probably after Wednesday, Wednesday or later. So you have plenty of time to do it. Please uh, send me an email if you uh, want any help with it. Thanks a lot. Bye.